Now, there are a lot of times when the standard views in SOLIDWORKS are going to work great for you. But when you start to visualize your models, when you start to put them into environments, oftentimes you need to create a custom view. Once you rotate your model into the position that satisfies this, you can go to your Heads Up View Manager, your View Orientation dropdown, and to New View. Now this gives you a named view. You can call this new view whatever you want, such as Speaker ISO Front, and say OK. Once we create this new view, we can still rotate around to any other position, but our view orientation dropdown now has our new view saved. One thing that you can do with these saved views is you can actually save them to not only your part document, but also to SolidWorks documents. If we go to our view orientation dropdown and over to the two right arrows in the far corner, this is our more options area. Under more options, to the right of our new view, we have options to save view to SOLIDWORKS or to delete from document. If we save it to SOLIDWORKS, it can be applied to other documents as well. So this is great if you model a lot of very similar components, whether it's a certain type of mechanical component or maybe you're dealing with making a lot of speakers or a lot of cell phones or a lot of the same type of product and you need a certain view to visualize these, whether it's for marketing documentation or collateral or whatever the case might be you can create a single view and save that out. If I go ahead and remove this from my document and say OK, and I go back to my view orientation more options, we now see that it's listed as saved views. The save view can be brought back or it can be deleted from SOLIDWORKS altogether. So there are a lot of times when you might decide to create your own saved view and potentially apply it to the rest of your SOLIDWORKS documents. In most cases, for visualization purposes, you're probably going to be creating cameras, but the saved view option is great for many instances and hopefully you can find a good use for it.